Hey guys. Hey. Welcome. welcome, welcome. Welcome. We are doing a kind of a mod review, mod spotlight on the new can't believe that it's new. Fossils and Archaeology Revival Build 63 with tons of new stuff. Tons. Like I mean, look at all the stuff around us. This is just most of it. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, we we both are just psyched about it. So, yeah. I guess what we should start on is to show them the phalosaurs cuz I I we we like should probably that. go down the list because we're going to totally forget something if we don't go oh, down the list. Oh, more than likely. But yeah, we're going to, we'll go maybe okay. in a circle around where we okay, are. Okay, we'll do a circle. Yeah, we'll do a circle and then we'll just go yeah. back to the list and see what's right. up. Okay. So number one I wanted to look at was the Phalosaurus. This is the one that everybody already knows. Yeah. When a cultivation fails. But they've added in two new skins now as well for absolutely no reason. And uh, there's a blue one and a, what? Wait a minute. Is this? Yeah, it's different colors. This one's got like a cyborg eye. Does it? Kind of does. Did we not notice that before? No. Oh, he does. It's like, yeah. So Look at me, got buddy. Kind of like a cyborg. He eye. looks like a little Weirdest happy thing. guy, and this guy doesn't have any eyes. This guy's happy. He's actually smiling. Yeah. He's kind of cute. <laughs> and this guy's just a skeleton face. Yeah. So. <laughs> didn't even got notice some that variations part. now. Um, just little tiny things like that. I do like that. Yeah. Um, so so we also have all new models of the skeletons. A lot of the skeletons are new. The The main one is the T-Rex being new. Yeah. You can see that it's horizontal now in the yeah. stature. So, And we'll see. Uh, cool. We're actually going to spawn in another T-Rex in a little bit because there's some other stuff to talk about with the T-Rex. But Man. what else do we have new? Were Almost all the models already in the game? Some of these. I, I think that they weren't all in the game before, were they? They, as of the six builds, they have been. I think. Okay. Yeah, most of these have been. But uh, this but they is... did add new, new, other models now too. So they they added the skeletons for them as well. Right. So there's some new ones here. Like this, these two look the same, but they're not the same. And you'll see that here in just a second. Yeah, you uh, will. Yeah, just a second. Okay. So next we have over here. We had the feeders can now be used with hoppers. So right, right. now there's there's nothing in it. I don't know if you want to look in there, Poet, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's, nothing there. there's wheat and chicken. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. matter. So I think you do have to put it on the Just side. To prove you're not lying, I think. I could be wrong, but I think, you, yeah, exactly. But I think you do need to put the right item on the right side. So there you go. It's going through the hopper and not working at all. <laughs> That's oh. all. It's not working. Okay, well, wait. What about if we put it on the top? Just out of Okay, curiosity. try it out. We probably should have tried this prior um, to... Yeah, oh, I'll just stick getting... it in the hopper. I'll just yeah. stick it in the hopper. Do it. There we go. It's so not working. That is not working at all. It's supposed okay. to, though. Yeah, we should have probably totally tested this prior to. I, anyway, okay, it doesn't matter. But you can shift click. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Maybe if we look at the the insert hole thing. Was well, that what that's supposed to be? I don't know. Let's try it. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know that that's it's not supposed to work. That's what they said on Twitter. For, but you're also supposed to be able to just shift click in. Oh, okay, you can shift click in, but you have to be into in the menu of right the thing. So that's kind of nice. You couldn't do that before. Yeah. So they've fixed shift clicking for I think all but, the things now, which is very but, nice. But the hopper doesn't work. No, the shift clicking does not work for milk into the cultivator. I've, Still um, not. No, yeah, that yeah. shifts it into the wrong spot. Yes. But anyway. Uh, okay, so here I set up a couple oh, sifters, yeah, yeah. just mixing some stuff, and, uh, just what? to show you guys that it doesn't give you DNA anymore, it gives you biofossils, and the biofossils drop at the same rate as the DNA used to, so. Okay, so that means that you have to go, okay, that's, that's interesting, so instead of just going, which makes more sense, because why does. would you find DNA in... Yeah, nobody understood why that was a thing, uh, they've changed it now so that you do find little fossil fragments, I guess you could call them. Oh, yeah, those in the pottery shards. And the pottery shards. Which have a different texture. They have a new texture now, too, which is kind of nice. One of the other things they did is the new volcanic rock has new volcanic stairs and half slabs. That's right. Uh, but what we found was that there was <laughs> a little bit glitch. of a glitch here where if you try to stack two up together, they, they do not. Right. It, it connects to the... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So a little bit of a glitch, but... Obviously, just having the uh, so <laughs> we found two glitches. So like hey, that, what? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, you know what? Well, it's because you stacked it on the bottom. Right. <laughs> Wait, no, that didn't work for me though. Look at that. Here. That. What is the deal? <laughs> okay. I don't 
I don't understand, but well, at least the guys now know what they need to work on. <laughs> okay. Right. Exactly. Doesn't make any sense at all. So we got two things I need to work on so far. Oh, do you want to show them the disc? Yeah. Show oh, them I the got disc. it. I got it. I think this was added in the last update too, but why not just play yeah. the new music that they have? New record yeah. disc. Which is awesome. So Cultivator or Culture Vat. You take your milk, vat. stick it inside there, and watch that. Look at the look at this thing pulsating now. Yep. With the animated textures, which is awesome. Yep. Usually I have a resource pack on, but I removed it so that we could see this. It pulses like that. It's not very smooth. We both agreed, but uh, I think it, it's maybe even the limitations of the game. I don't know. And it could go faster. Yeah. I think that it's kind of a nice improvement. I, I would like it to kind of bob up and down personally, rather than yeah, than going in and out. What, what and if they like what that? if they made it so it like gradually got bigger? That'd be even cooler. Yeah. Okay. I so get you. It could gradually, yeah. you know, start out as a little speck and then mm -hmm. gradually get bigger and bigger. Maybe. So this little station we have set up is for the pottery shards, which I have none in my. Oh jeez. Sorry, but there we go. Uh, so we got different crafting recipes now for the different uh, pottery. What, what would you call them? Just the pottery. <laughs> the pottery that you see right over here. Right. Oh, well, that's back behind me for my my people. But there's right. let's see, there's a uh, amphora, and then there's the uh, what is make this other thing? Make a table. Yeah, table which is the broken acrylics. Yeah, the killix. Killix is that how you say it? Did, was the there not an R? Was there? Did I put a fake R in there? I did. I did. There was no. There's no R there. I'm thinking the, of Skrillex. The last one is a volute. How do you make that? Oh, it's I know. It's like uh, upside down pants. There you go. So volute. But the thing is, you can't just make those the way that. I mean, you have to do another step. Right. Which so is once what, you have a, a broken piece, you put it in there. You throw it into the archaeology workbench, which you can't shift click into. I just found out. <laughs> <laughs> And hey, did, this, did the texture change on top just now? Yeah, it does. Okay, I never That's noticed that before. In the way, though, it makes always. Pork, okay, well, great. A pork chop and a <laughs> and a magnifying glass. Oh, okay. I'm I glad guess. I knew that. Oh, but that was pretty quick, though. All right, and it makes the restored amphora, which looks like that. So, you can dye these, though. That's the kind of the cool thing about it. Um, you can see one variation here. I don't know what the different colors you can have are. I know oh, that, I could totally hook you up with this one. Let me let me pull up pull it up here. Let's see. So you can have uh, there's the black. Oh, we could just totally do it in. Okay, you can just do it that way. I was gonna actually create it, but that's okay. <laughs> I like the little Egyptian kind of. Yeah. Drawings that, a, that they have. Is on. that a harp? What is that? Oh no, it's an Egyptian drawing. Okay, I thought maybe it was like a lute or something for some reason. It could be a bow. It could be a harp. It could be something. A lute. No, it's definitely a, a person. All right. And there's a, yeah, because there's the Spinosaurus on the bottom of it. Look at that. That wraps around. We got a red one and then the porcelain one. So this is the, apparently the red one, although it looks much more black than the. I think that's actually kind of reversed. Yeah, it says there's the there's the black figurine and then there's a the red figurine. They should do totally be swapped. Yeah, oh, I well. like how it kind of it kind of looks like it has little dinosaurs on the bottom. Spinosaurus maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure which kind of dinosaurs, but that's kind of cool. Yeah. We have a couple of new uh, creatures. Oh, uh, you can do the different variations on each of these bad right. boys. Yeah, and that's just with dye. Why is there dirt inside this one? Hey, yeah, and there's water inside this one, which I find kind of cool. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you should totally be able to put a flower in there. I tried. You can't. Yeah. Oh, it's well. As simple as that. <laughs> All right, so a new dinosaur, which is new the... New dinosaur. Which is the, the what? The Leoplurodon. The Leoplurodon? <laughs> yeah, Leoplurodon. He's, he's freaking out right now. He is freaking We're, out because we have him confined for so hang long. Hang on. We'll make a new one out in the open. Because <laughs> why not? Yeah. Make a new one. There we go. Can he's we swimming. chicken essence him bigger than that? I don't know. I haven't really thought about that, to be honest with you. How big can he get? I don't know. Let's find out right now. Okay. Let's see. That is as big as he can get. All right. <laughs> well, good to know. Yep. So, uh, let's see. So spawn in big. But I love the way that they look. Yeah, really nice. Great. Really nice. I like the striping. He doesn't make any noise when you hit him, though. He kind of sounds like the Mosasaur, but he doesn't make a specific noise when you hit him, no. 
All right, and our second new creature, which is one of the cooler ones, I think. Uh, it's not a, it's not a dinosaur. It's a horse. Yeah, half a zebra, very, half horse. A very ancient horse. Yeah. What's it called? A quagga, something like that. Yes, yeah, something quagga, like that. Quagga. It's, it is. Uh, let me go back to it on the page here. It is a Q U A G G A. So quagga. I'll say quagga. Something like that. Um, and we of course can put a saddle on it and ride it go around. Ahead. Go ahead. How wait? How many horses does he have and everything? Did you check that? Uh, I can't tell because I'm in creative. Oh, I can totally fix that problem too. Let's see. Zero. Oh, okay. Well, he's a decent little horse. He's pretty quick. Yeah, he is actually. And he has, um, let's see, is that like 13 hearts? Does he jump? He's not jumping. Uh, he doesn't jump. Which is definitely not typical. So uh, <laughs> that's another glitch. They'll have to get that worked out there, which is... Jumping had to be bred into horses. So yeah. It's a modern trait. <laughs> okay. Well, he can climb, though, so that's good. All right. He's a climbing horse. How do you get off? Left shift. There we Why go. If you're going to check him out, feel free. All right. So he's kind of cool. The one thing that we found out, though, also, is that when you shift click, you can put anything you want yes. onto the armor slot. So right now I put <laughs> I put bone pants. He's wearing bone pants. Yeah. Apparently. Unfortunately, you can't see that. Though. Too oh. bad. Wait, I want, be, what if it gives him more armor like that? That'd be kind of interesting. Probably not, though. That would be a glitch. That would be a Complete really glitch. glitch. Yeah. But, but I would... Oh, hang on. Get off. Get off. Get off. There we go. But we do have some diamond armor, so you can see what he looks like with it on. Right. Still that's looks kinda, really cool, especially with yeah. the striping and the, yeah. the mane looking like that. I think that's pretty good. We probably should have named him. Um, we should put a, a name tag on him this is there Is there only the one coloring? I don't know. We made a bunch, and they were only that color. So I think that that's see. the way that it is. Uh, let's see. They're, oh, well, you can see the ponies at least. Let's see. Mm, no. Oh, there's a pony. There's a, little, there's a pony, but you can see that they're all the same color. It's not just. It wouldn't just be randomly all the same color like that every time we spawn them. It would be crazy. Yeah, it would be. So. But there's a pony. The colt. I yeah, guess. he's a cute little thing. So the plesiosaur, since we have have it over there, let's just right. You know. I took the time to tame this one. Yes, and they have um, animations, which is cool, different ones. So let's take a look at this guy. I'm just gonna grab a whip and jump on board. First of all, you're actually on his back, which is nice. That is nice, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> so and his head, could, yeah, his head drops down. His drop, his, his head drops down, and it naturally does when he's swimming around too. But the nice thing that they've added is that you can actually, by looking up and down, go up and down. Now, do you have to? Hold your breath. I mean, or uh, well, I'm in creative again, so let's just fix that. Uh, certainly, I do have to hold my breath. <laughs> okay. Well, so don't go uh for any deep dives with this guy, but um, as far as speed goes, he doesn't appear to be too quick. So uh, since we're in the water, we'll just mention this as well. Supposedly, they increase the spawn rate of um, them and the fishes. The fish, the coelacanth, and the nautilus. They they're supposed to spawn in. Period. In yeah, the well, last build, they broke it so that they never spawned in. I don't see a um, single there's one. There's some right there. Oh, oh you no, do? Sorry, that's squid. They turned the spawn rates of them way down in the last build. Whoa! Here they are. They're on the top of the water. Oh yeah. So that's kind of cool. Them. I saw them surface like that. Yeah. So we can use the Dinopedia on them, and it just oh, yeah. shows their name. That's it. <laughs> All right. So what we'll show you now is, I think, in the nether, do you think? Sure, we can go there. Why not? Yeah. Because that's kind of, that's an exciting thing. I know that there have been a lot of, it's almost to the rumor stage of Herobrine type of thing with this Anu, especially on my series, because people were saying that there was, Lapis portal. If you made a lapis portal, uh, you could. Uh, Anu would come to the overworld. Um, there were lots of little rumors like that. Um, well, they've fixed Anu so that he can spawn in now, but not naturally. You have yes. to use a spawn egg. And he and can only spawn in the nether unless you change the config file. Yes, only in the nether. But he looks okay. pretty awesome. I would say he looks very sweet. I mean, just so awesome. The thing is. We haven't fought him for real. So when I hit him, he said, is that your weapon? Because I guess I hit him with a pick. <laughs> oh, see, he's not talking for me now. So no, last time he wasn't talking whoever... for you. Oh, no, there we go. He uses his chi shock. Which I think he gives blew it... something up. I don't know what. Yeah, but he regenerates health, which is unfortunate. Yeah, you can see his health at the very top. 
Uh, it's very difficult to kill him. Very. Like, like you just had to sit there and lay it on him the whole time. Yeah. I mean, you can't stop. You just really cannot stop. Look um, how fast he comes back. What I would like to see, I'll just kind of throw this out there. I would love to see Anu controlling the pigmen. That would be amazing. Because he's got the ancient helmet. He's got the ancient sword. You would think that he'd have a pigman army. Uh, and then they'd, of course, have to lower his health a little bit. And, and or well, lower his regeneration. Regen. Yeah, yeah, just lower the rate. And then have him control pigmen would be just so devastating and fun to kill, though. I would that would think. be practically impossible. It would be fun. It would be an epic boss battle, for sure. I thought that he had other moves than his chi shock, but he doesn't seem to be doing any of them. He did have one other move. I oh, there's that. It seems to me that he was actually able to blow stuff up when I first fought him in the very original dinosaur mod. And it looks like he's um, supposed to be able to. Yeah. That, that shock should be able to destroy blocks, I think, and it just doesn't. But he's in very, very, very beta mode, I think, right? Oh, look at this. Servants, your master calls. So maybe... You, um... What happened? What? Why Why is... Are, are you frozen? Oh, I guess. Yeah. All right. So we found out that he's really glitched, really bad. Um, that That's probably why he's not actually in the game. Are you in the game right now? I am in the game now. Okay. Did you leave or did you, are you, what happened? <laughs> I ran out of the nether. I didn't want okay. to crash again. So. Okay. Well, yeah. So he's really glitched out. So if he gets near, if he does that little servant's call thing, it crashes the game and he's done yeah. it twice to us. So he we're going to leave twice. him be. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I guess when he gets close to the pigment, it happens. So, right. So I kind of predicted the future that he is going to be able to control the servants, you know, the pigmen. But when he tries to now, it just crashes your game. So keep yes. that in mind if you do want to spawn him in. Uh, you can tweak the config file to make him spawn in on the overworld. Yeah, because right now, if you just throw him down, he just disappears. Yeah. So. Exactly. Anyway. Um, all right. So there's one other thing. Do you want to do the bone armor? We'll do bone, ar bone armor now. Right. Okay. Perfect. So bone armor is not as OP as it once was, which is quite unfortunate. Yeah. Quite a bit. You can see the the armor level at the bottom there. Uh, used to be that if you put on, I think, the chest piece and the pants, it would max it out. Like any combination of, of two pieces of it, and it would max out and be even stronger than diamond. Um, that has been nerfed very much, uh, which kind of makes sense in yeah. a way. And I've always, always had that comment is why is bone armor so easy to make and yet stronger than diamond? Right. So they've fixed it. Well, quote fixed. I don't know. It's it's not a good thing, but I guess it is a fix, technical yeah. fix, that it is now weaker. It is still stronger than iron, but weaker than diamond is what we hear. Which which makes sense. But we the question sense, is, is they change the durability on it? Because that's what was also awesome about it. I'm not sure about that though. I think the yeah the durability is the durability like diamond still, or did they change it to? It was better than diamond, I think. It was. So I'm wondering if they've. They've probably put that down between iron and diamond as well. Which would make sense. Yeah. Okay. What else? We're missing some stuff. A lot of stuff, actually. Uh, let's do the uh, the T-Rex deal. Yeah. Let's spawn in a T-Rex. I got him. New model. Let's... Yes. Ty... Well, okay. I don't know how to spell it. There we go. <laughs> I got it. Uh... Oh, I already had 64 in my inventory anyway. I should just throw it down. But okay. New model. Boom. Whoa. I'm inside. Okay. <laughs> So, so basically, go. yeah, he's just more horizontal. More horizontal. His neck has a slight bend to it. So here's another thing. Um, it You cannot hit them with your fist. That's right. It does nothing. And not. Absolutely nothing. So accidental punching is definitely fixed. Thank goodness for that. But you can kill him with your sword. You definitely can. <laughs> Spinosaurus didn't have any sound. Did you notice that? No, he did not. T-Rex did, though. Yeah. Ooh. Awesome. Okay. What else is there? Okay, so we did the... Let me just go down the list real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to read it out loud because that's just crazy. They added a new translation, a Czech translation. Yep. So that's interesting. Uh, should we did turn it off? They have the foreign language yeah. upgrades and updates. Uh, they added horse syringes, which I guess makes sense to make the, the quagga. Yeah, or to even, I, I guess, to... I guess just same to, as they have for cows and pigs. Yeah, probably right. Yeah. Right. Um, oh, the enchantments. 
Oh, that's important. Most important part. I got one right in my inventory. I got two. <laughs> Perfect. So they so, go ahead. Yeah, they've got enchantments. That's kind of the the only thing you can say about it, isn't it? Yeah, but the thing is, okay, so there's archaeology enchantment and then paleontology enchantment. So paleontology right. does gives you a better chance of fossils. And yeah. Ar- and archaeology gives you a better, better chance of uh, relics, right? You are right. More specifically, there's there's three different levels. So for paleontology, it's 70, 80, 90%. So for one, two, three. And then for ice right. meat, it's 50, 70, 90. That's a huge, huge increase, though. Yeah, definitely. If you get a paleontology three, or uh, I just made that so I could get archaeology three on a, <laughs> on a pick, that would be amazing. So should right. we try that out? Should we... Should we test it with some blocks? Well, let's let's do that. Why don't we do a little bit of a race? We'll have two rows, and we'll see how many we get each. Okay, what about this? What if I did a uh, a diamond pick without any enchants, and you did one with the enchants to see what the big difference is? All right, here we go. Ready? All right. It's not really a race, uh, <laughs> but oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's like every other one. Oops, I did it in creative. <laughs> okay there now i'm not in creative <laughs> it'll be much better okay ready yep let's do this thing we're we doing 10 blocks all right how many did you get i got two biofossils two relic scraps and then some bone and cobblestone i got just 10 biofossils. That was it. That's amazing. 10 biofossils. Yeah, I didn't get anything else. That's 100%. Well, it wasn't a hun- Yeah, that's basically that's that's a little OP, I think. Hang on. Try let's try this try again. One more time. Let me make sure there's absolutely yeah, nothing yeah. in my inventory that could possibly Let, let me try it this time. I'm going to try it this time. Okay, um, let me just get a normal Yeah, I'm going to throw those biofossils over there as well. Let's see what else can get I'm going to get rid of all this stuff just because. Oh, and part, yeah. All right. So now I'm just going to go with the. Look at that. Oh, I got a relic scrap once. Did so you? It was exactly 90%. I got nine biofossils and one relic scrap. 90% awesome. with a paleontology three enchant. That is by far the greatest thing they've added to this so far. I, I actually hands down agree. I mean, Hands Sifters down. was pretty great as well, but I kind of like to. Sifters good. Yeah, I kind of like to keep my my stuff though. I don't want to have to give a up all my. Ninety percent biofossil drop rate is what both you and I, I know for a fact, yes, have been, have been dreaming of. Yes, definitely. Oh. So that's that's awesome. I'm so glad they added that. That's that amazing. That is amazing. Um. Okay. What else do we need? Remove guaranteed fossil drop. That was apparently something that was in the last update. Yes. Fix issue with pterosaur skeleton made noises? Really? Apparently That's awesome. did. Okay. So I guess the skeleton would have been sitting here making the pterosaur noises, yep. which would have been so funny. Chirping <laughs> away. Oh, you can make cake with dodo eggs now. Yeah, I thought you could before, though. Didn't we make an... Oh, no, we used... That's right. Wasn't it you and I who tried to make a cake? With yeah, one? we did. We did, and it didn't work. <laughs> That's right. But now it does. Yeah, um, it's all because of us. Bug where T-Rex could be tame before being an adult. Well, that didn't make any sense. But yeah, I'm glad they fixed that. Weird. That would be kind of weird. Uh, compies couldn't swim. They can now. Mm-hmm. It says feeders now work with hoppers. No, they don't. Nope. They <laughs> we certainly that. don't. Unless we're just doing it wrong. But I think oh, we're edu- is that a new noise? Oh. Hey, look at that variation. I've never seen that one. Let's pull on a Dilophosaurus. <laughs> the herding noise. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, if we can catch him. Hey, stay. Oh, he's eating all the animals. Oh, he's that's battling awesome. with the compies. Yeah. But Listen he has to a new that sound. Screaming noise when he gets hit. It's do you hear that thing. when I hit him? Yeah. Okay. That sounds awesome. I like that. It sounds really good. Yeah. Sounds very uh, retro dinosaur movie or something. Yes. Yeah. I do like that. Can no longer feed wild mosasaur from your hand? Right. Apparently there was a thing where if there was a mosasaur in the water, you could walk up to it and feed it with your hand. I don't know how you'd ever be able to because they attack you. but Right. But you can still throw food in there and they'll eat the food that you throw in. That's right. That's still fixed now is that you can throw food in and they should eat it. Yep. 
Oh, there's also the Dynapedia fix for the Dodo Birds as well. Ah. Very nice. Tweak the roar of the T-Rex. Did we even hear that? I think we kind of did when he died. He he gave yeah. off a little bit of a roar. Oh, they tweaked the DNA analyzer rates. Yeah, the DNA analyzer rate. So what we hope, both you and I again, is that it's turned up. But you know what, though? At this point, when you're getting it so easy... the Yeah, when you get biofossils as easy as that, maybe you don't care that it's only one out of every hundred or so. Right, when, yeah. But... At the same time, it is nice if they turn that up a little bit. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't complain. Let's just say that. Right. Ancient wood plates work on half slabs? So okay. I guess what, what the deal was is that you put something like that down. Hang on. Let's, let's try. Let's... Oh, but that's. Wait. Huh? Huh? That doesn't work either. either. Okay, well, here's the ultimate test. Oh, no, it doesn't work right. So you can't stack them. But th that could be just that slab in general what if i take something common like that no nope. okay well apparently that did not get fixed okay you can do it there yeah but that's a full block technically yeah i don't know i don't know i'm confused about it okay so the, the uh slabs are still broken yeah maybe fix triceratops mount location do we mm -hmm. want to try that out well what, what did you say like on its horns <laughs> i guess so yeah well, I guess we and uh, we did see that the plesiosaur, I'm actually sitting on it when I ride it too. So I think they've tried to fix the mounting. Yes, you actually sit on his back, which looks awesome. Yeah. I'm, I imagine it's the same with the Triceratops, but we're not going to tame one because that will take no, too long. Too long. Um, Use your imagination. Okay, apparently you could you would get dismounted when riding the plesiosaur in the water. Yeah. That's, that's fixed. That is fixed. It kind of That's funny. You ride a plesiosaur in the water where they're supposed to be. It would dismount you. Oh, like a horse. Yeah. Okay. And now it doesn't. Now it doesn't. Now you can... I rode one around. Um. Yeah, and they updated some various textures. I don't... Not really... I, I mean, we saw a couple of textures that were updated, which was cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, localization fixes. Do you know what that means? Uh, usually localization just means language. Okay. And then created uh, some beta versions. Yeah, the beta version, it is in beta now for 1.7.2 and I think 1.7.10. Right. Or maybe maybe it means between 1.72 and 1.710. But right. the fact that they do have a version available for 1.7 is just incredible. Uh, the glitch that's with that one is that you can't spawn in academies, I think. Um, or the shipwrecks. Let's see. I'm looking at through the textures and see if there's anything new. <laughs> I guess we could show the egg for the new dinosaur. It's kind of neat looking. Yep, it's got the same kind of striping. And I, I would like to see that more often where it has kind of the same color pattern as the actual dinosaur. Right. That would be kind of nice. I think that's about it. I didn't notice any textures that were completely different as far no, as the no, item no. textures. Neither did I. But uh, I think that that's kind of neat. It took us quite a while to get through all of those changes because there's just so many of them. It's just really, really incredible what they've done. So, in, uh, and in such a short amount of time as Do we well. need to talk about this thing? Because they still haven't updated this thing to tell us how it works. <laughs> Give it a purpose. That's all we can say. Yeah. Anyway, well, that's, that's yeah, that's it. That's about everything. All right. Sweet. Well, guys, we'll be seeing you next time. <laughs> all right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.